All right, so you read the title of the video. You know what this is about. And honestly, for the, the few of you that have not voted yet, please, I beg you, do vote. The Global and the JP versions are voting together, right? Last year, we had voting for the anniversary banner, but it was separate. The JP version had their own vote. And when the global version had their vote was when we were like, whoa, the global version vote sucks. You had Connor Melly, you had Blue Demon Melly, Green Escanor. It was awful, right? And well, this year, because Global and JP are together, guess what? But <laughs> Global is making their, their weight because it has more players. Uh, but I I'm I'm telling you, if you have not voted yet, because you can only vote once. If you have not voted yet, please do for characters that actually need votes, because this is sad, what we're gonna see here. Um, let, let's get in there. The festival voted for number one is Trader Melly, which is well, obviously gonna be Trader Melly. It's awesome that he has 112k votes, and then number two has 14k. <laughs> this is why I said on my, uh, on my video, like, Trader Melly's gonna win. I think people should vote for other festivals that they actually want because of this. Because Trader Mali obviously was going to get the bulk of votes. And King, um, really, really, really happy that he is going to be on the banner. The one, I have mixed feelings. I love the one. Uh, and for players that are new, having him is really good. But he's free. Like, he's going to be on the free banner. So, honestly, if you have not voted yet, I would honestly advise voting for even, like, Margaret. Because the one's free, but maybe you want the one. I do have mixed feelings about the one being number three. If it is, we actually don't know. There's no, like, saying how many of these characters will be on the banner, how many of the festivals. I can only assume it's the top three, not anything below the top three. If it's, like, the top five, then nice. We have, like, these five characters here. That's great. But if it's the top three, it's a shame that Margaret wouldn't be there because a lot of people don't have Margaret or need dupes for her 6-6 six, six thing. Oh, my... Core disconnected. Oh, no, it gets back. Uh, you see, I'm on the phone because the PC version doesn't allow you to, allow me to see the votes. Uh, and then here's where the trouble. Ah! Truth is not wrong about this cord thing. Here's where the trouble begins. So the top three are what I expected. I actually expected McGeldon to be number one, but Green Sauria is number one by a landslide. Which is fine. Red Tar Meow would have been number one by a landslide. I guarantee you he would have been number one. But Green Sario, Jormungandr, Megalda, amazing picks. Let's start going down though. So I did uh, vote for them on my uh, my GP account here. You, Brynhildr, Red Sario, Bon, that's good. Bon isn't like this, whoa, he's so amazing. But a lot of people didn't pull for him. So a lot of people don't have him. And he's good. He's a good unit to have, so I'm 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 very excited to see that Bon has been actually picked here. And here where it starts, <laughs> Ascanor has more votes than Scotty. Green Ascanor, like there's nothing that can take out votes, so Green Ascanor will be on the banner. But it's just such a shame. I, I think a lot of votes comes from trolls. I, I genuinely think so, because there's no way you're actually unironically voting for Green Askener, even if you're bad at the game. Like, if you, even if you're bad at the game, I know it is Askener, right? This is this is honestly not Marvel's fault. They have not released a new banner Askener, base Askener, in three years almost! O over two years, since the red Askener, which is not a banner Askener, it's a coin Askener. So it's been almost three years, right? Because Green Askener released like three months after the release of the game or something like that. It's been almost three years. Please release a new base Askener and he would be here. If a new, if a blue base Askener existed, the green one wouldn't be here. It would be the blue one because then people would be voting for the other Askener. But no, we have Green Askener in the banner. And then Blue Demon Mally. <laughs> You see this? How? How is Blue Demon Melia so high? He's above Tarmio, bro. He's above Tarmio. Tarmio is still a really good unit. Then you have Excalibur Arthur. Not my favorite of the picks, but I'm... Oh, by the way, I, I do love Scotty and Sigurd here. They are not characters that are conventional in every banner. So it's good that it's here. Excalibur Arthur, uh, I wouldn't be voting. And then... 
Chandler, I don't mind as much. Ragnarok Merlin. This is one that I was thinking about, and man, there are only two reasons why you vote for Ragnarok Merlin. One, you mixed her up with Summer Merlin, which I assume a lot of people are voting for that. Uh, actually, three reasons, sorry. Second reason, you can see her cleavage. And then third reason is because you don't have her and you want her with box CC, which fair enough, but still kind of kind of sucks because look who we're missing here. So, oh, Blue Golfer and Connor Melly are almost up there, by the way. Just want to point that out. <laughs> uh, also, Taunt DN. You might have noticed, you know a DN that's green and is in the voting, but it's not on the top 15? Let's go down here. Ragnarok DN is number 28 on the votes, while Taunt DN is number 15. Why? Like, Ragnarok DN is not that good, but I I can guarantee you people will want her more than Taunt DN. I think that, you know, Blue Lost Vein would be a better pick. Green Shin is so much better than Taunt DN and, and Merlin, but he's kind of old. So you see, I, I did vote for it, for Arthur on my account because I, I kind of want him to be on the banner. But <laughs> uh, like honestly, the best hope. Oh, who's the, who's the last place? Red Hauser with fifty two. Like, do you even think that people? There are people. There are two hundred and forty forty five people that voted for Blue Hendrickson. These people are trolling. Like, there is no chance that these are real votes. They are trolling. Um, I think that the best outcome for anyone that's watching and have not some have not uh, voted, either vote for characters that you want that are not up there on the 15, or vote for characters that are low in the 15s and you want to make sure that stay there, right? If you want to make sure that Tarmio stays here, make sure to vote for him. But if you like, if you could be a a, a good one and vote for like Ludo, which. I don't know, man. He's still good, and he's much better than Green Taunt DN. Ragnarok DN is, is a crime. That shit's not up there. Honestly, like, the cord? I... I don't know. The banner is so stacked with these top characters here that regardless if Blue Demon Mali and Green Askener are in there, it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter, but... Oh, well, since we saw the last for the the characters. Let's see who's the last festival. So, Assault Medical number 6. Wow. Obviously, it's King. <laughs> and then Goddess Liz is second to last. Yeah. A Liz festival is gonna be very hype, guys. I mean, to be fair, it's because they're old. They're very old. Kusak was so hype as well, guys. Look at him. Kusak is better than Assault Melee. Like, genuinely. He, he's a better unit overall. But, you know, that doesn't matter. Alright, so, you know, the banner will be good, it's just, uh, this has to be trolling, like, I cannot fathom that people actually, vote. like, okay, Ragnarok, Merlin, she's bad, she's really, really bad, she's a terrible unit, but, like, a lot of people don't have her, right? These true? I don't know, man, that's, that's global trolling right there. Alright, if you want to help out and vote for, uh, you don't have to vote for Arfra, that's, he's so low, it's not gonna happen. Ragnarok DN, lo Blue Lost Vein characters that people might actually w use these days and not <laughs> taunt DN. That'd be great, man.